everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another addition to my How To Be A Pro series. It's been a while since I've done another How To Be A Pro video but today I really wanted to show you guys how I like to counteract and cover dark circles or eye bags under the eyes. Now personally me, if you follow me, you'll probably know that my under eye circles aren't really really bad. I don't personally suffer with very very bad ones. I just got back from a trip from the US all the way on the west coast so I'm suffering still with jet lag. I haven't been able to sleep properly. My sleeping pattern is totally messed up so my eyes are definitely a lot darker than they usually are so I took that as an excuse to do a video on how to cover them up. I show you guys how to counteract, conceal, set and brighten the under eyes basically. This video isn't as long as my other pro videos but I really wanted to do another addition to this series because it's been a while and I wanted get into doing more of them. How to be a pro videos that I do on my channel are intended to be long, are intended to have a lot of talking because it's meant to be a lesson. What is a lesson without talking? I may repeat things a few times but that's just helping you guys to maybe understand things. Some people don't get it the first time so sometimes repeating things just helps. Um, I have had quite a bit of complaints on my other how to be a pro video so I just wanted to give a little disclaimer, it's kind of sad I have to do that, um, but this video actually isn't too long compared to my other ones but if there are any in the future that I have a bit of talking in it, it's just because talking helps beginners and this is what these videos are intended for, whether you're a beginner in general in makeup or if you're just a beginner within this particular subject or technique we're talking about. So if you guys would like to see how to cover up under eye circles like a pro, just keep on watching. So I already have foundation on all of my skin and I don't have anything on my under eyes which is why I look so weird right now. Foundation on everywhere apart from my under eyes which I usually do. So I'm looking a bit strange right now. Whenever I would be counteracting someone's under eye circles, especially if they had a dry skin, the majority of the time I would use an eye cream. Every single eye cream I use under my eyes just makes my eyes crease a little bit more, so I'm going to skip it. But if you do feel like your under eyes get a little bit dry, you can go ahead and apply some under eye cream or just some sort of eye primer underneath the eyes that you know that is going to help prevent dryness. I'm going to move straight into colour correcting. Now, Usually, I don't need to colour correct, but sometimes when darkness appears on the face, you want to counteract it with a colour that is basically the opposite of the tone that's on your face. For example, you may see videos on the internet of people putting green on their face, putting orange on their face, putting red on their face. What they are trying to do is counteract the opposite colour that is sitting within the colours of their skin. Now, it can be a little bit confusing if you have never heard of counteracting colours before. We want to determine what colour is the best to counteract that colour underneath the eyes. What I have found the most successful for under eye circles is an orange or peach toned concealer. So for me today the colour corrector I'm going to be using is a concealer from MAC. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct palette in medium deep. I'm taking this orange toned concealer and that is going to be my colour corrector for today. My under eye circles are not too bad, I'm not going to be taking too much of this colour corrector. If you have too much of that colour corrector on, it's going to be quite hard to cover that up with a flesh toned concealer. So so I definitely say less is more, but if you do feel like you need more, it's easier to build than take away. I'll be doing all the steps that I take on one side of my face so that you guys can see the difference between the two, and that way you can just see how much this process just really helps under eye circles. I'm going to be taking a little bit of that orange tone conceal on my 142 Zoeva brush, picking a little bit up of this orange tone concealer and I'm just going to be patting a very small amount of it very gradually on the dark area of my under eye. I don't want to take it in a huge triangle like we would concealer, you only really want to put it on the areas that are really dark. I'm just applying it underneath that whole under eye section. I want to concentrate the majority of the product on the more darker area, so mainly my area is just that curve there. And also right underneath the lid as well, so right underneath here. I'm just going to be taking that same brush and just buffing this colour outwards so there are no harsh lines because if there's a really harsh line it's going to be very hard to cover up afterwards with concealer you want to make sure that this is really blended out it's not thick once I've kind of blended that in and that's all pushed into my skin I'm just going to be using my finger a little bit just to make sure it's really pushed in there and there's not a lot of product really sitting on the skin worst area definitely tends to be this part right near my inner tear duct and just curving downwards where my eye bags downwards so I'm just going to be applying another thin layer just just on that area. We don't want to apply it all over the whole thing, just on the area that's the worst. 
And again, I'm just going to be using my finger just to push this into the skin. Sometimes it doesn't matter how thick a concealer you apply underneath your eyes, sometimes that darkness just shows through anyway. And when you see that through your concealer, that means that you'll be better off applying a colour corrector. Now our next step is going to be applying our concealer. Personally, when I'm doing colour correcting, I like to go for quite a full coverage concealer underneath the eye, just because a full coverage is more likely to cover up that orange, and you don't want to go for something that's too light of a coverage because that peach tone is still going to come through your under eye. Today I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser and the concealer that's really good for the under eye area for one and also I really like this because it really has a nice full coverage and also it has a really nice flesh tone to it. So I'm just going to be applying a really nice amount of this underneath the eye covering up all of that orange we applied. Personally, I like to apply it in a triangle motion because it really lifts the eyes and it creates the illusion of a more lifted face and also it will take away the appearance of that round under eye. If you're just applying your concealer in just a round motion, it's just going to highlight that roundness of the bag, so you really want to create that nice triangle effect. And I'm just going to apply quite a bit of this because I like a lot of concealer, but you do not have to apply it this much if you don't like a lot of concealer underneath your eye. You can blend this in with a sponge, you can blend this in with a brush, it really does depend on your preference. For me today, I'm just gonna be using my finger because I really wanna push this into the skin. I wouldn't recommend using a brush to buff it in because that will mix in the orange color we used underneath the skin. What you wanna do is push this on top of the product we used. We don't wanna be mixing it together. already look at the difference you can use less concealer if that's what you like but for me this is the kind of look that I personally prefer and I like um, but I do need to set it because it does look a little bit strange until you set it into place plus it feels a little weird and if you don't set it it is gonna move about and it's just not gonna look right Set my concealer I'm gonna be taking my personal favorite setting powder this is the soap and glory instant retouch powder this is a pressed powder but you can bake your under eyes if you like with a loose powder you can use your favorite setting powder this is just a powder I know personally that really really works for me so I'm just going to be applying this and setting my under eyes using the Morphe E49 brush So that is all set into place and already you can already see such a difference. This side just looks so lifted. It looks like my face has had like almost a little facelift and you totally can't see any dark circle. You can't see any bags. It really does make such a difference when you use that triangular shape because it totally draws attention away from that little circle that sits underneath it. Not to mention the orange really, really really helps to take away from the look of the darkness right there underneath the eyes. So one extra tip I just want to let you guys know that you can do is apply a brightening banana shade powder underneath the eyes. Sometimes when this inner part of my eye looks really dark I like to apply a brightening powder just on top. The powder that I use to set my under eyes is a translucent powder so it didn't add any brightness to this under eye area but what you can do is take a powder like this one from the Kat Von D palette. I'm just applying a little bit of that yellow color right underneath the eyes just where we get that darkness um, but I'm just going to be dusting away any excess powder just because sometimes when you apply quite a bit of powder like I just did some excess can sit on the top of your skin and make you look a little bit cakey just wanted to show you guys the difference before I show you guys what it looks like with a full face now comparing the two sides of the eyes it's pretty clear to see that this side is super dark and this side just looks a lot brighter plus my face looks a lot more lifted it just gives a very different effect and it's definitely a technique I love to use guys this is how it looks with both sides as you can see no darkness showing through which means mission accomplished color correcting is a really good idea if you suffer with really dark under eyes or if you're just like me and sometimes when you don't get enough sleep and just the normal layer of concealer just doesn't cover it really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i love doing these how to be a pro videos and it's been a really long time since i last done it really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like it and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you want to know how to do like a pro 
next. Subscribe to my channel as well. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!